Hey guys, in this video I'm going to test this Delhi BMS. This is for S version 12 volts for lithium iron phosphate batteries. This charge current is 60 amps, charge current is 30 amps. This BMS is not configurable. Uh, it's set for 365 volts for high voltage cell protection and 2.5 volts for low uh, voltage cell protection. It doesn't have any temperature sensors. The only one connection right here is for leads to measure individual cell voltage. And then we have P negative and B negative. I'm going to perform four tests with this BMS. First, we'll test low voltage disconnect and high voltage disconnect. And then we will test this BMS for 60 amps of discharge for one hour. I'm going to measure temperature every maybe 10, 15 minutes. We'll see where the temperature for BMS is going to be at the end of the test as well. And the fourth last test is going to be 30 amps uh, charge test. So we will charge our battery uh, with 30 amps and we will see how, how this BMS is going to handle this. For test equipment, for first and second test, I'm going to use this small lithium iron phosphate batteries for uh, low and high voltage disconnect just to have uh, quick results. And for uh, continuous 60 amps discharge and 30 amps charge, I'm going to use this bigger lithium iron phosphate battery bank. And um, this daily BMS is going to be disconnected, so we're not using this at all. Right here is a battery negative terminal, which is going to sell negative. So ignore this daily BMS. And uh, for to, to discharge, I'm, I'm going to use this re-energy inverter. And for load equipment, I have this setup right here. Um, this heater is going to draw about 53 amps from a 12 volts battery. I'm going to actively cool this down with using this fan. So this is also a heater, but it's going to work in a fan mode just to keep this uh, working. So this is not going to uh, disconnect at middle of the test. And then these lights, I will apply additional load to, to have exactly 60 amps of discharge. All right, now let's connect this BMS to the batteries and I will start first test. For sales monitoring, I'm going to use this display. So we're going to see every individual cell voltage. And uh, I think we're almost ready for test. All right, BMS disconnected battery. It was about 2.1 volts somewhere there. I will check on the video. Now let me cool these cells a little bit down. It's pretty warm. Yeah, this was a little bit high current for, for these cells. So I'm gonna cool them down and uh, we'll start charging test. All right, so cells are getting close to the full charge. So I'm just going to shut down this inverter and uh, use this power supply. So we're gonna get more accurate result. Thank you. 
moving to discharge test this BMS is connected to this bigger battery bank connected to this inverter and uh, let's connect these wires okay, looks like I need to activate this BMS So we're reaching 60 minutes. Let's see what is the temperature at the end of the test. So BMS at about 2.30. Wires also extremely hit and as you can see it's even melted this material. Okay, at this point BMS passed 60 minutes load test. Let me cool this down and we will start 3 amps charge test. Here we are reaching uh, 60 minutes of charging test. Let's see what is the temperature for BMS. I tried to remove covers from this BMS. I was able to remove bottom cover, but top one, I tried to pry this with um, screwdriver, but looks like it's going to break BMS. So I'm just gonna leave this uh, here. I see exactly the same problem that I saw on a bigger BMS when I did tear down for, th for this 250 amps BMS, that on the back side right here, this material which is supposed to transfer heat from MOSFETs to this cover, is not fully contacting all MOSFETs. You can see them right here. And uh, here as well. And if we check on the BMS, this is plastic material, which is non-heat transferring material covering these MOSFETs right here. And uh, here is a little bit corner. Okay, guys, this was quick test about uh, 60 amps daily BMS. In my opinion, don't use this with 60 amps. If you plan to use this, make sure not to mount this on the side of cells because high temperature from BMS will simply destroy your batteries. All right, guys, thank you for watching and see you later.